do it. Hey guys, this is Versal from Proud Infinity Media. We got a really great PS3 software related tutorial today. I'm gonna show you how you can download your PS3 game updates on your PC, no PS3 uh, required or a modded PS3, not required. So what's beautiful about this method is, let's say you wanna download your game updates ahead of time, save it on USB so if you install the game or you're trying to update your friend's game or whatever, just plug in your thumb drive and install it on your CFW PS3. No need to waste your internet bandwidth again and again and again. And it's awesome. It saves you so much time, especially if you're like me or some other guys who jailbreak consoles time to time and you install like GTA 5, which has two gigs of updates and you don't want to download a damn update every single time. So you go to the video description. I got a link to where you can download the program. So I'm gonna go ahead. It's on my desktop, right click. I'm gonna extract it to its own folder. Inside this folder, I have two items, basically. I have one, which is the Microsoft Visual Basic Runtime, just in case if your PC gives you issues about some file that can't be found. So go ahead, doesn't hurt to run the program. And then you have the main program itself, the PS3 Game Updates Installer. So go ahead, go through the wizard, and install this bad boy. Once it's done, it creates a shortcut on your desktop, and you can run the program. It's pretty easy to use. Basically, how I use it is I always go to CFW. I just set it to the latest version. It doesn't hurt. But the most important part here is this title ID. Here you can type in your name of the game, or you can type in the region code, like a BLES 01717, which is like Black Ops 2. But let's say, for example, that I was interested in, I don't know, like um, Modern Warfare, and let's say I do the US version. Um, sometimes it's funny, you just gotta use your mouse here and click on it, click on verify. And what it does is it says, hey, look, Here's one update. I already ended up uh, downloading it earlier today. So if I were to double click on this, here it is. It's a package file. Put it on a USB thumb drive, FAT32, or external hard drive. Insert it into your FAT PS3 or Slim PS3 CFW and install it and you're good to go. Let's say you want to do a different game. Let's say that you're interested into like Gran Turismo 6, which has like 10 gigs of updates. And you don't want to download on your PS3 because you want to manually control the process, which I totally understand. So you go to BCES 01893, click on verify. We see that here's a list of basically 10 gigabytes of updates from 102 all the way down to 122. So if you were to double click on each file here, you will see a download. Let me just show you guys how that works. So here is downloading. So I can say, oh, and you can queue up downloads too. It will download like two at a time. But let's say I don't want to do this. So I can say right click and cancel the download and it's ready to go for queuing. So let's say that's real nice. You download a whole bunch of updates, go away for a while, come back, and it's all done. And if you don't want to see this list, let's click on clear the list. So where does the store the game updates, basically? So if I go back to my uh, example here, verify, we see that I already downloaded it. All you got to do is just double click on it, basically, and you're good to go. Um, and that's how I pretty much use this program. There's this other folder here, like this uh, this game folder thing, but I don't really use that. And I just basically use this to verify, to clear. Here it's like expanding the list and stuff like that. And CFW 4.55 works perfectly fine, even though I'm gonna like rebug 4.80.dex. And that's pretty much it. That is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care, bye.